hi welcome again in this video i'm going to show you how to create a grass land like this so basically add grass into your landscape and we're going to use uh, rvt blaze blending option so they they allow us to blend grass nicely into the landscape so in this video i'm going to use uh, open land grass and open land they are marketplace assets but you can get them for free on github if you're using for non-commercial purpose all right let's get started video we are using open land as a landscape material but open land grass works with any kind of landscape material if you're using a different landscape material check the description below we have a separate video for that first thing is we need to talk about installation here we, we can install uh, using the epic games launcher we use some shared files between both open land and open land grass so make sure to close your Unreal Engine project before you add using this add to project button. So that's all you need to worry about. So then we are good to go. Right, let's add some grass. For that one, I'm going to open land and grass directory and I'm open gt underscore ground. So basically we are trying to add some grass to the ground. So let me move it to a different place in the window. All right, so let me locate some grass. So I can go to open land open land grass and static meshes and we have a couple of grass comes here and I'm gonna use a grass slender so this is the usual type of grass that you you need to use most of the time all right we have this and we have the grass type file as well so I'm gonna add a new grass type from the grass type file and here the density is something around 400 I, just, I, I think we don't need that much so let's go something around 230 yeah try with these numbers for sure and then i'm going to drag this uh, sm underscore grass slend slender the first one i'm drag it over here all right it will compile for the first time so just wait until that we can see some grass over here okay but i think uh, we can uh, scale it a little bit further so for example i can put here with the scale x here we're using uniform scalability so it's not actually x we are scaling everything so uh, I can do a range like one to two. I think that suits better here. All right, now we have this. All right, and I can change the sun in some, uh, some position like this. All right, yeah, this looks nice. Okay, I can put my player here. Okay, yeah. Right now I'm trying to change some colors. So it's totally up to you. So I think in this case I might change a little bit. So let's let's try some other options. For that one, I'm gonna open the material instance for this grass type, which comes in the MI grass. Yeah, you can see it here. Okay. I'm gonna focus on this general section. That's where we can change colors. For example, uh, let me put sun into a like like a noon position. Okay, so I can visually see everything nicely. And then uh, the grass tint. Uh, let me. Let me go for something like, I don't know. It's totally up to you. It's an artistic choice you want to proceed with. Mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I don't know. I, I, I'm gonna go with this one. And then uh, we can you change the subsurface color. If you put sun in some morning position, somewhere like here, I don't know. So you can see some, the color is changed. Maybe I can go a little bit further here. So then you can see there's a different color when the sun is in a new, in, in the morning or evening position. So that's maintained by the subsurface tint. So here we have some kind of like a orangish color. Then you can, yeah, you can change it to whatever you like. So we can change the color and also we can change the brightness as well. Right now it's 10 times higher than the default, but we can modify that one. Can 20, it's up to you. So right now, the ground and the grass doesn't blend nicely. Basically, you can see there's a seam where we stop rendering grass and it's clearly noticeable. And uh, we need to fix that. So that's where the runtime virtual textures base features comes in. So let's use them. For that one, I'm gonna go to my project settings, edit, project settings, and search for virtual texturing. And I'm gonna select this enable virtual texture support. I'm gonna click that. And I'm going to restart my project. I'm going to save everything. Okay. And let's wait until that. All right. Soon after, you can see there's a, like a purple 
tint over the distance that's totally fine because we haven't set up rvt properly in this map so that's why we can see this so let's fix that first thing i'm going to select my landscape from the world outline i'm going to search for virtual textures and i'm going to add two virtual textures which is comes with open land which is the height first one and the second one is the material again there's no order you can add any 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 one you like at first right then i'm going to add some volumes i'm going to select for inside the place actors virtual texture volume i'm going to drag it over here and go to details panel from the virtual texture section i'm going to select one of the virtual textures first one height okay and then uh, in the there's a section called transform from bounds i'm going to select my landscape and i'm going to click set bounds so basically it will create a bounty box around my whole landscape you can see it from this yellow box all right now the purple is everywhere totally fine we're going to fix that then i'm going to copy this uh, virtual texture volume from the world outline Control c Control v all right we have two volumes and then we have the bounds correct so i'm going to select my virtual texture from here use the material other one all right now okay that's fine now you can see so immediately it fixed our color issue like the now the grass is nicely blended with the ground we clearly don't see a seam and uh, it looks really nice uh, and this only affects the distance i can show you that for example let me change this tint into something obvious like blue or something like this all right i'm going to demonstrate something so now you can see the color is bluish over here but when i go on top yeah it's nicely blended still i can control how much blend i'm going over that using the rvt blending section on the material instance here uh, we have the rvt distance blend intensity if i put it to zero you can see you can see everything yeah as the as the, the color i put it here but then i put it back to one so it blends nicely with the ground then i can control the threshold so where i'm gonna start blending, blending the color and also the follow value so based on that you can um, you can actually uh, change the, how, how this color blends with the ground and yeah that's that's number one rvt based feature another one is bottom blending so let me go to this sand area as you can see now we have some sort of like a brownish color on the bottom of the grass because that's based on the rvt because we sample the color on the ground and try to match with the bottom section of the grass for example we can control that using this in the rvt blending options in the the material instance and we have the bottom blending intensity right now it's close to one i can really remove that to zero and you can see there's a sharp edge between the ground and the grass so i can turn it back to where it was earlier you can see now it's blending the color nicely all right this is the some of the the most important rvt based uh, features especially uh, for grass uh, to make some variation let's add some more type of grass all right i'm going to open my grass type file which is available in the open land grass gt ground i'm gonna duplicate this one all right and i think i'm gonna change it some something around like 20 all right and i'm gonna show a nice trick that uh, you can select multiple static meshes for example open land open land grass i'm gonna go to filters section and i'm gonna select static meshes all right and then it will show all the grass types over here in this case i'm gonna go with something called willow right basically it's just this uh, white color grass uh, okay we add some variation and uh, let me put something else okay we have something called scabious so that's uh, has a blue tint all right uh, it's too much here so basically you can see these are not actually plants so basically they are the grass cards uh, optimized for performance basically they don't look look nice uh, to the close to the screen especially we have a large uh, looking grass like this so what we can do is we can uh, reduce the size all right still is too much i'm going to reduce the density to something around five all right so now we have some variation and then it's blended with nicely and uh yeah like that uh, like that you can add multiple grass types so 
I suggest you to like uh, start playing with these uh, values and uh, and try to get the look and feel that we are looking for. All right. This is it. I'll see you soon with something interesting. Bye.